A test case is like a task that guides us to test a requirement. You want to understand what is the expected outcome of a certain requirement. Uh, let's think about Spotify, one of the largest music streaming service providers with over 433 million monthly active users. Spotify wants you to be able to like songs. When you like a song, does it get added to the liked songs playlist? When you like a song on your phone, does it instantly appear in your liked songs playlists across all of your devices? If you accidentally like a song, are you able to unlike it? Will unliking a song delete it from the playlist? Test cases help us keep track of the software requirements in rapidly changing environment that the software development process is. With the example of Spotify's liked songs feature, we can develop multiple test cases, as I mentioned. Test cases, for example, like a song, expected result, your liked song appears in the liked playlist. And if it doesn't happen like this, you will report an issue. Testing can be divided into different types of testing, functional and non-functional. Non-functional testing, such as usability, performance, compliance, security, or even reliability. Usability test case with the example of Spotify would describe it as it has to be easily understood for the client how to like a song. A performance test case would ask the tester to check if the liked song appears in the liked song playlist instantly, not in like five minutes. These are some of the examples of non-functional test cases. When we write a test case, here's what we need. First, description or name of the function or feature. Secondly, preconditions for being able to test it, such as being logged in as a user with a certain access level or even paid subscription plan. Three, the steps required to test it listen to a song and tap the like button. And last, fourth, the expected result. There are software test management tools that help you create test cases from different templates, but the best test cases follow the simple KISS method. Keep it simple, stupid. Think of a writing a test case like crafting a tweet. You want it to be short, sweet and simple and easily understandable for everybody.